Can you run an entire print on demand business just using your phone? And this is a question I've been asked a lot recently, and I think that's because a lot of people don't have a laptop or don't have a very powerful laptop, whereas most people have a pretty powerful phone in their pocket. Just this, the iPhone, I don't even know what number they're up to, but the iPhone 11, maybe 12, I don't know, is a very powerful phone. And if you've got a Samsung or Huawei or a OnePlus or Google, whatever, these phones that just sit in your pocket are more powerful than you know, a lot of computers out there. So I want to take you through six super simple steps to running a print on demand business just using your phone. Now, before we get into it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm really, really trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I feel like you'll be able to help me do that. So please, please hit that subscribe button and let's get cracking on with the video. Let's get our phone out and actually start. The first step is researching. Whenever it comes to print on demand, the first step will always be researching the niche and the different designs that you could potentially do. So how can we do that just using our phone? Well, we can use apps like Instagram, Pinterest, or even Google to get an idea of, you know, what shirts are trending. So for example, we would put in t-shirt funny. We would see what comes up, right? So we'll go to images and we'll see what the most popular images are at the moment. We've got short girl, do not read the next sentence. I'm a virgin. We've got letter, a better to be late than to arrive ugly. Uh, we've got the Chrome thing. I do what I want. All right, so that's using Google. Now we could also go over to Instagram and search t-shirt, right? Very simple. And we can see what comes up under their main tab. So you've got God, you've got a dog, you've got a lion, you've got a lot of Mickey Mouse, you've got music, you've got Adidas, you can't really do Adidas. So you've got all these different ideas floating around. So if we then go and we're like, hmm, I like the dog. Let's try dog, right? So we, we would then do, I can't spell today, dog t-shirt, right? And then once, we, once we've picked our overall niche, we wanna start looking into designs. Now, one thing you have to know is we are not stealing people's designs here. We are not, you know, copying anything, right? What we are doing is seeking inspiration for us to actually go out there and you know, create our own designs, maybe with a little twist or with a sentence change or a design change. But the idea is not to copy other people's designs, it's just to get inspiration. Right, so we've got dog shirt. Let's have a look. We've got all these different types of shirts. The loved one is cute. That's cute. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Okay, so we can get an idea. Adopt, don't shop. Rescue is my favorite. Breed. So this would be perfect. This is a brilliant t-shirt. This would be perfect if you were doing a Facebook ad targeting a rescue, dog rescue shelters. Brilliant. Right, you got a Jack Russell, you got a whole bunch of different designs basically. So that would be the research phase. The next phase is actually designing. And, and how can you do that on a phone? Well, one thing about a phone is there's an app for pretty much anything. You've got the Canva app, you've got the Photoshop app. Ironically, there is no Placeit app. However, Placeit do have a great, great mobile desktop, mobile, sorry, mobile um, friendly version of their website. So let's go over to Placeit, let's log in. Right, now what we can do is you can see we're on Placeit and we're going for that dog niche. We don't have a design so far. We're just kind of working our way like into the dog niche. Again, this isn't so important. We're not focusing on details here. It's more about how to create the whole business. So what we can do is we can go over to designs. And by the way, again, not to try and sell this or anything, but if you want to get place it, there is a discount in the description where you can actually sign up. But what we can do is here, right? Costume for puppies. I believe in equality for all. We can filter, right? We can filter by, you know, type, Oh, so many. So let's go to D for dogs, right? So now we are looking through the designs for dogs on Placeit on our mobile phone. Okay. Scrolling down. This is cute. I would never do that though because it's kind of like a dig at people, but whatever. What we do is we're going to click this and this will open up this 
web page where it's actually you can see quite friendly you've got the text you've got the colors and you've got the graphics so i can actually change the graphic over here i can edit it i can you know completely change it if i wanted to just have to click it and then it changes and it all you know goes to the size and all that kind of stuff but obviously we are doing a dog right and we can get rid of the love thing and we can put dog in here and now everything changes there's look at all these oh, so many so so many okay Right, now that we've got all the dog, and I don't know why it's not in color, but it, it would go into color, so don't worry about that. Right, then we can click exit up here, and now we've got this design so far. So let's click exit one more time, and we've got the colors here, so let's change the background to transparent. So that's just this one over here. It's amazing, wow, okay. And then we want to do the text. So we go over to text, and we can do um, the longer I stay at home the more I love my dog, brilliant. Okay, now all we have to do is download this design. So we would click download and then it would pop up over here at the top, processing your design, it's really, really simple. Once that's done, we'll be able to actually download our design and then upload it onto Redbubble or you know whatever platform we want to use. So now it's ready, we just have to click tap to download and it will take us to this page where we can actually save it. Now with an iPhone, it doesn't actually let you save it here. Very, very annoying. So what you would do is you'd go into your email and I'll do this for you quickly. I might not show you my email, but we'll go into the email and place it shows up over here as you know, your image is ready to download. So I'll click download your image. I would click download here and then it downloads it. You can see over there it's downloaded. I can have a look at it. I can save this. So let's save this to the camera roll, now it's in my camera roll. Okay, now, if I want to be really interesting, I can go over to Canva on the app, which is over here, I might as well show you because it's over here. And you can actually create a design in there or I can put the, um, I could put the police it design in here and tweak it a bit, change it even more, change the colors, maybe add something else, add some more text, make it a bit more custom. Or if I wanna be really, really tech savvy, I can open Photoshop up on my phone, which by the way, I think I have. Yep, Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Fix, lots of Photoshop apps. And I could just completely manipulate the design like that. But for now, we're gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna go over to Redbubble and we are going to upload our design. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So all we have to do is go over to the burger menu in the top left, click Shimmy Morris, click add new artwork, upload artwork, photo library, there's the, the design. Once I've uploaded it onto Redbubble, I can go and you know edit anything. I can add it to certain t-shirts, I can take it away from stickers or pillows. So for example, I'm going to disable that. And it's really intuitive on the phone. I can zoom in, I can just do it over there. I can edit, right? And that brings up the editing menu over here and I can change this, whatever it may be, right? And it's it's, Really, really simple just to do it like that. And once you've done, once you've uploaded, you're on to the next step, which I like to call the SEO step. Now, the SEO step is, well, search engine optimization. And that's basically how your design is getting found on Redbubble and on Google and on any of these platforms, really. So what we would do is we would go to title and we would make sure to use a really, really, really good title. Likewise with tags and likewise with description. Now, if you really want, you can go over to the Google keyword tool on your phone, all of it, again, all of it on your phone and search what the most searchable terms are at the moment. Once you've done this SEO step, you are now up to the next step. The fifth and final step is promoting your design. And again, you can do that all from your phone. You can share the design, you can share it on Instagram, on Pinterest, on Facebook. You can even create a Facebook ad on your phone. You've got the Facebook, or it's called ads, I believe. You've got that Facebook ads, Google ads, if you wanna do ads. And then on top of that, you've got apps like Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can share it across all of those things but the main way that you're going to hopefully be getting sales is ranking within Redbubble's platform, you know, where people are actually searching your tags or your description or keywords and you're popping up. So that is pretty much how you can run an entire print on demand business just using your phone. Let me know down in the comments down below if you use your phone, if you use your computer, or maybe you use an iPad or a Samsung tab or whatever you end up using. What do you use to run your print on demand business? Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.